Hey everybody, how's it going? So previous video I showed off some power washer stuff as well as a couple Milwaukee lights. Today we're going to go over the Milwaukee lights. We're going to take them out the package. I'm going to explain why I picked them up as well as what's going on with some new items from Milwaukee. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody? How's it going? Alright, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Alright, so, previous video I actually did show these power washer wands right here, as well as what's in this bag, which is two Milwaukee lights. Um, I talked about them a little bit in that video. Um, and then I just put them back in the bag so I could do this video for you guys. Um, just for dramatic effect. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, alright, so I picked up these two guys right here. Now, um, I necessarily didn't need to pick these up. Um, I've actually been looking at them for uh, well over a, a year and a half, two years now. Um, but the reason I didn't originally pick them up is because they took regular AA batteries and I've been thinking about it because I have these right here. So this is the full size version of this little guy and this does um, take the red lithium batteries that you can literally pop in and out like this little uh, power bank, this uh, red lithium USB little charger. Um, and I'll give you guys an example, you pop this cap off. Um, these proprietary Milwaukee um, red lithium USB batteries, these are 18650s in a proprietary little cage is all they are. This light takes these batteries as well, um, as well as this one right here, which looks like this one. Um, the difference is, is these two take double A's, where these two take red lithium rechargeable batteries reason I picked these up is because I have an update for you guys um, and that update is that Milwaukee is coming out with new lights. Um, they are going to be rechargeable but they are not going to have removable batteries which hence why this pen light is here because this one also takes batteries, regular batteries. Um, these are the batteries that have that were in this when I bought this pen light. Um, not lying, you know, it's just, it, it is what it is. I've, I've been using these two AAA batteries in this pen light that um, it came with for two years now. Um, and, I, and, and I haven't had to change them yet. Um, I use this as an inspection light. That's what I use it for. I always carry it on me. It always sits in my pockets right here on the side of my um, carpenter's pants. And um, it's been great for inspections and everything else. Now the reason I brought this into the video is because um, this one isn't per se a part of the what uh, the new lights coming out. These two are. Um, and what I mean by that as in this little guy, they're coming out with a new version of this little guy, which is just a smaller version, a non-rechargeable version of this big guy. Um, and the difference is, is the new version of this one, instead of it taking batteries, it's going to have a built-in battery that you can't remove. Now, to be honest, I'm not really sure why they didn't just make this one take one of these batteries. And the reason I'm saying that is because it, it's big enough to fit this battery. Um, and this battery technically, if it was put right here, would probably more than likely fit. But, um, they didn't make it that way. Well, come to find out, just recently, um, today is uh, 
Today is July 18th. It's a Sunday. It's 2021. Come to find out, they made a version of this light that technically is rechargeable um, in this size. It just does not have a removable battery. And my take on that is once the batteries die or they won't take any more charges, the light is junk. And my other take on that is I guarantee you that more than likely the LED cob or diode will probably outlast the battery, the rechargeable batteries in, in that light. They are also coming out with a new pen light. Um, it is a little bit bigger instead of 100 lumens like this guy that takes triple A's. It, um, sorry about that. It will be um, 250 lumens on high and like 50 lumens on low. Um, the downside is that, oh, that's, that's an upside. This one does not have anything other than 100 lumens. It has no mo extra modes. It's always 100 lumens no matter how many times you turn it on. Um, it's always 100 lumens. There is no low on this one. It's only one um, setting high. So the new pen light will also have a rechargeable battery, but the batteries will not be able to be removed. Um, and you can even see that the red paint is flaking off on this one. But um, on top of um, it not having removable batteries, it's supposed to be a little bit longer. Um, and I think it might be a little thinner. I don't remember. Um, but it will do 250 lumens on high for about two hours. And on low will be 50 lumens. And I think it said something like, like eight or nine hours or more, something like that. Now, the downside to them having non-removable batteries is that once the batteries die, if the light still works, well, the, the light's junk. Unless you want to remove it, take it apart, and see if you can put new batteries in it or fix it, or, you know. So, I decided to pick these up because this one in particular, it used to be $34. Um, I picked it up for 29 bucks. Do, 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 do. Right here, receipt says twenty nine ninety seven. That's what I picked up this one for. This one used to also be, I think this one was twenty nine or it was thirty seven originally, something like that. Might have been the same price as this one. I don't remember. Um, but this one I got for nineteen dollars and ninety seven cents, and this light I got it for twenty nine dollars and ninety seven cents. So, um, literally in June and May this light was sitting in the center on a display cap um, with a bunch of Milwaukee stuff um, that you can you know you can get the top off with a 5 amp hour battery for 149 bucks and a few other things glasses gloves and a few other things they were doing deals this was $34 on that cap I picked it up for 29 so I grabbed it um, and the upside, to be honest, is this one has served me well. This has the red lithium style battery. Right there. Works well. Um, it's got a magnet on the bottom. It also has a magnetic back. Um, and the back is also a clip. Um, this one's worked well. So the reason I grabbed them is in case an emergency, you know, say this would be easier to carry in a pocket compared to this guy. It's also a lot, a lot narrower. This one's a lot heavier. Um, but the main reason why I picked it up, and I also, we're going to take these out. Uh, this one does 325 lumens. It's got a spot and a flood, um, just like this guy. You twit, uh, you pull up and down. That's how you get your spot and flood. Um, I have the newer models as well. Um, the newer models. Here's the two newer models. Here's another one that I already have on the bench. Uh, so this little guy is the 800 lumen that doesn't change focus at all and then this guy is the new version of this one 
which is a little more compact. This one does a, a thousand lumens. Um, this one you actually twist to focus the beam in and out, where this one you actually pull. So I like the pull design a little better because you can just push up and down with your finger. Um, this one kind of, you can twist it with your finger, which is probably why it's got knurling right there. But it's not practical for normal use. I just usually just grab it and twist it with the other hand. This one's more compact um, than this guy. It's a thousand lumens. So this guy is 325. This guy is 700 lumens. This one right here, the smaller version, is 800 lumens, and this one's, a, I think, 1,000 a, a or 1,100 lumens. So, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know of that. There is um, some new lights coming out. Um, I will get you guys an update, if I can, on um, that, and let's get these open. Look out on the community tab. I'll probably post um, updates and information on the YouTube's community tab for the channel. Let me kind of move you guys aside. I'm going to take a couple photos real quick. For Instagram. So the light takes three uh, double A's, the, this light bar takes two. I'm gonna put a couple other lights in here. And then we'll cut these open real quick. Hope you guys' day is going well, uh, pretty well so far. All right, so let's get these cut open. Move all these to the side. So, um, 2107 is the part number for this guy. Bring the light back in. Uh, um, and they both have batteries in them. This one does high and a low. It says on the back, high beam is 325 lumens for 5 hours, 115 meter beam distance. Low is 25 lumens at eight, for 18 hours, 33 meter beam distance. And this one takes not double A's, I apologize, it says three triple A's. this one out move that aside and this guy is really really light I do like that the button is recessed I like that a lot um, it's not like this one which is the larger version of it or the older model of the 700 you can see how the button is raised now the button is hidden if you are charging this unit 
uh, but the button is does stick out quite a bit so you could bump it I haven't had any problems bumping it but I do like this one you could momentarily push it without locking the light on or you can lock the light on it's a nice light so it's just like this model right here that I showed you you turn this one on you can focus it by pulling it forward and back same as this one but this one you twist So this one, you just pull forward like this one. So if you turn this one on, they're both on high. They're actually pretty close, to be honest. Um, it's a nice little light. I like it. And this guy right here is 2108, which is one number different. This one's 2107 for the light that I just took out. This one's 2108. This one also has batteries in it, high and a low. High and low on this one. The high on this one is 300 lumens. Has a rotating clip functional, functions as a base as well. Um, so high is 300 lumens, 5 hours. Low is 100 lumens, 16 hours. Um, and this one is called the 2108 Rover Magnetic Floodlight. Comes with two, looks like this one says double A batteries. Yep, so this one takes double two double A's. That one takes three triple A's. So to get this one out of the package. Try not to cut this one because the last one I actually did cut trying to get it out of the package. does not look like I actually cut this one. That's nice. All right. So I got this one out of the way. Ooh, magnet is pretty strong. Feels like the magnet in this little guy is actually stronger than the magnet in this one. That's kind of funny. Wow. Definitely stronger. So this one, the clip does rotate. There is a magnet on the back. So this one does have a few similarities. See, this one has a magnet on the back. It shows a magnet emblem right here. This one shows a magnet emblem here. Um, but instead of the magnet being built into the clip, the clip rotates out the way, which I like that. That popped off. Uh, if you go too far, it pops off. Okay. So yeah, you go too far, it pops it off, which is no big deal. It's a nice little light. So you can set it on the clip, which it stated that the clip also acts as a base. It's a nice metal clip as well. Put it that way and magnet it on the back. So um, it's nice. I, I like that. Um, and look at that. These are good batteries. Um, I'm a fan of the Rayovac batteries. I'm not too big of a fan on Duracells. 
It's nice that it came with two Rayovacs. It's nice that Milwaukee put some decent batteries in it. All in all, they're nice lights. So now I have the battery powered one, which is a lot smaller, which means this will be a lot easier to clip to a pair of plant pants. Um, it will be not as heavy on a shirt if I clip it to my shirt um, when I'm using it clipped to my shirt like that. Um, so it's nice to have both of them. Now I have that one um, and I have the big brother, which is rechargeable through the red lithium battery. Um, and now I have the little version of that one. The big version um, and you know the pen light. I'll, I'm probably going to be getting the upgraded pen light because um, I already have the one that takes the double, the triple A's. I'm probably going to be picking up a, a couple more of these as well. Um, hopefully they'll go back on sale when you get a two pack for like twenty something bucks uh, because they're nineteen ninety nine right now for these guys one for one. Um, but they have the pen light. We have the little guy that I just picked up. We have its bigger brother. We have. The bigger, bigger brother that's more compact. And the big, big, big brother. Um, that. So, 100 lumens. So, 100 lumens, 300 lumens. This one is 100 lu uh, 200 lumens, if I remember correctly, and uh, 450 lumens. The pen light's 100 lumens. This guy is 325 lumens on high and 25 on low. This one is 700 lumens on high. And if I remember correctly, it's 150 lumens on low. I could be wrong. I don't remember off the top of my head. This one, I believe, is 250 lumens on low. This one, I do know for a fact, is 800 on high. This one... I think it was like 300 something on low you guys if you guys know the information uh, more accurate on what the low on some of these are um, go ahead and leave comments this one I'm 100% positive um, from actually remembering when I unpackaged them um, is the this is a thousand lumen uh, 1100 lumens on high um, I'm about 80% positive it's either 1100 lumens or a thousand lumens so these are the two newest the new new ones that just came out the red lithium USB um, I just don't these both came with USB 3.0 batteries the red lithium 3.0 batteries this one has a red lithium 2.0 battery this takes triple A's this takes triple A's this one takes the red lithium 2.0 2.5 amp hour battery this one takes double a's this also has a 2.5 amp hour red lithium cell in it that you can put a three if you wanted to um, but that's all i got for you guys today just a quick take it out the box we're going to look at them real quick um video i do appreciate you guys hanging out with me checking out the video I'm gonna move all these over we're gonna finalize the video just you know you guys looking at all the lights I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today checking out the video please like comment subscribe smush the bell notification icon for future updates go check out my Amazon affiliate links my Acme tools affiliate links my DJI electronics affiliate links as well as my Ohio power tools affiliate links got lots of head-to-head -head tool videos coming up um, if you guys would like to send uh, a Ryobi tool for the head-to-heads, um, just get a hold of me in the comments. Or you guys can go to the About section of the channel and you can go uh, pull up my email and send me an email. If you guys want to send me a tool to test, uh, I'll send it back um, in uh, the same or better condition if you do send me some tools to test um, on the head-to-head -head videos. We're going to be doing head-to-heads with DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, uh, Bosch, uh, Metabo, um, Hitachi, which is Metabo HPT, um, um, as well as Ryobi, um, 18 volt and 40 volt, and all variants of, of DeWalt voltages. I have all of them. 
um, 8 volt, 12 volt extreme, 20 volt XR, 20 volt max as well, 60 volt flex volt, 120 volt flex volt. Uh, the, the Hitachi or Metabo HPT is 18 volt, 36 volt, uh, multi volt. Bosch, we got um, 18 volt core. Makita, we have 7.2 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt, 36 volt X2, 40 volt, and 80 volt. Um, as well as we got a bunch of corded tools, a bunch of pneumatic tools, uh, DeWalt, Stanley, Black & Decker, Porter Cable, Bosch, Makita are all corded. Um, and they're all old tools. So if any of those things interest you guys, smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Possibly going to be bringing Ego to the channel as well as might possibly be bringing, bringing Flex tools to the channel as well. Um, you know, let me know if you guys want to see Flex tools on the channel. Um, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!